Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buisa of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Today, I want to talk about leadership. And I'm asking the question, do good leaders lead from behind, lead from the front, or do they lead side by side? Yes, we have our East African leaders, Kenya, Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, and Tanzania. I'm only using them as their pictures as our leaders. I'm not analyzing their leadership styles, no. Indeed, I spotted this picture. It was doing the rounds on the WhatsApp groups that I belong. And you see, the question is, who is a good leader? In reference to this hen, which is leading, so to speak, from behind, allowing the chicks to go ahead and it keeps watch over them from behind. And this duck, which is clearing the front the way as it allows the ducklings to come. And so the author of this question wondered who of this is a good leader? Leading from behind or from the front? I saw this and it reminded me I walked down memory lane. It reminded me of Mze Jomo Kenyatta, the first president of the Republic of Kenya. Yes, 1963 to 78. Mzee Jomo Kenyatta loved his VOK and we loved it, Voice of Kenya. He could come on TV and talk to us, direct us, words of wisdom. One time, his presidential car stuck in mud somewhere when he was touring the country. And you can see, maybe not clear to you, his own ministers, including Tom Boy, rest in peace both, came out to pull together the car out of the mud. You can see Mze Jomo Kenyatta is over there. The gestures, the boat language you can see, he's directing the people. And we're told that is probably where the term Harambe was born. It's like he's standing there and saying, Harambe! Then when he finishes the at the last Harambe, then the response was, Whoa, and they pull. Rhythmic. Harambe. Whoa. And they go together and they pulled the car out of the mud. Oh, yes. Ministers. Ministers, Tom Boyer and others joining the details there, the drivers there. Even Foreigners who are on the intro. And then he used so charismatic people would always tell him, including myself, we are behind you to Konyumaya Komze. 
Then one time ze Kenyatta said Nyuma yangu mnafanya nini njoo twende beka kwa beka What are you doing behind me come we go side by side You see the people are saying we are behind you We support you we are behind you Go lead us But he told us What are you doing back there Why Come we go together I'm sure you are starting to see something there And of course this is attributed to him He says You and I must work together to develop our country to get education for our children to have doctors to build roads to improve or provide all day to day essentials all of us together so this reminded me this question who is a good leader reminded me of mze jomo kenyata and what are you doing behind me come we go hand together hand in hand shoulder shoulder side by side we work together like they work together to pull out his car from the mud including ministers I went on to reflect on my own teaching of management and leadership styles. Still that picture of the hen and the duck, one leading its chicks from behind, seeing them as they go, and another one clearing the way and they come behind it. Then, of course one definition of leadership is the process of influencing people underline that the word influence the process of influencing people and providing an environment for them to achieve the organizational objectives you influence people and you provide the environment leadership and it, indeed it was 1958 when tahenbaum and schmidt wrote or created or designed a continuum of leadership styles they represented it in a, in a diagram this diagram you can see this long rectangle divided by a diagonal so that at one end full space the other end full space but then the space reduces as you move in from the right to the left or increases from and they called this one use of authority by the manager you see full use of the authority by the manager there it reduces and then at the end there the manager is of the scene and here the people are of the scene but the the presence increases at that end the people are in charge so he called this end autocratic boss centered leadership and he called that side support net centered leadership free reign license fair and here he is now or they this team of two managers they say at this end the manager or the leader makes decisions and comes to announce This is what we are going to do. Unilaterally, top down if you want. Makes the decisions, comes and tells you what to do. At the far end, the leader tells you do what you think is right. Like abdicating his leadership duty. And somewhere in the middle there are variations where like The leader makes a decision but that does not just announce it he comes and says that decision to you yes i've done this because of abcd so you feel somehow 
that even if he made it but a correct one because he has sold it to you another leader would make a suggestion or rather make create an idea and then he invites suggestions hey guys we have to do this what do you think before he makes the decision next the manager may present a tentative suggestion but subjects to change says i did this but maybe we can brainstorm it change it you know the power of the leader is reducing and participation is coming in and you at the far end the leader just leaves you solve it yes leadership styles and therefore he we call this autocratic at the far end dictatorial paternalistic participative delegative free reign so we are saying the leader tells the people sends the idea to the people make suggestions so people can uh, look at them consults the people joins the people at the far end abdicates them beauty so now let's go back to the bats on whatsapp and this is how i related those bats to the theory of leadership styles of leadership yes you can see this bird here it is leading from behind it is behind and it is allowing the ducklings to go ahead as it watches over like protecting any danger from behind seeing what's going on this is one interpretation on the other hand the duck probably the same duck is now going ahead and allowing the ducklings to to follow and therefore we can now superimpose that continuum and you can see i am saying it is like this duck is saying hey follow me muko nyuma yangu behind me mze kenyata said what are you doing behind me and so this is i'm relating it to abdication she are like, you are saying follow me if you wish no it can never know what is behind there to attack the chicks so abdication and here it is like telling them hey go directing no go where I want you to go hind it telling them, don't go that direction go that direction you know here they are free to do the workers or the the, 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 the ducklings here they can only do what the mother is saying can they go left go right go and here it looks like the duck is going alongside three situations probably the same duck leading from behind leading from the front and leading side by side same duck different situations properly so that question was which is a good who is a good leader becomes complicated now i hope and now let's look at other birds in other words could there be a fourth style you know 
leading from behind, leading from the front, leading side by side. Is there another one? Watch them. Look at those birds. Those birds are all flying ahead. Yes, you might be tempted to say that this is the leader. But just wait a minute. I'll show you. I mean, I'll tell you. And I'm posing the question. Could this be entrepreneurial leadership? Now, look. The birds as they fly in V. The V formation gives these birds extra power. They fly better as a group versus flying alone. The leadership rotates to maintain speed. In other words, when that leader goes and tired, he falls back and another one goes. When it, it gets tired, falls back, another one goes. Because if it was only one going, when it gets tired, it slows down the speed of everyone else. But when it's tired, another one comes, then they maintain the speed. So there is no single leader there. Now, the leadership rotates to maintain speed. The bats from behind encourage the leader to keep speed. A wounded bird is, fo is, is followed down by two others, or even three, until it is ready to rejoin the flock. Yet they can be left behind. Maybe the next time you watch the bird fly, my great, you see some fall behind and then join the group again. A bird leaving the flock quickly returns. And you know what? Kenya's Elliot Kipchoke adopted this scientific approach when he ran under two. Yes, there is that the start. Somewhere in the middle, you can see he's here, and you no, know, these are like the lead. They used to exchange this group every after, was it seven minutes? Because when they get tired and they slow down, Kipchoki would have also slowed down. But at every after, seven minutes or seven kilometers, I think, correct me the distance, but they change and the fresh ones come in with fresh speed and they kept on pulling Keep joking. The, the actual meaning of V, let it be stored for another day. Because there is the air that when you flap and then it, you know, there's some science behind it, why it's V and not one line. And you see, 159.40 at the finish. Look, it was very scientific that run what was it entrepreneurial of course innovative entrepreneurship is about innovation so it was creative innovative and there he, he made it so entrepreneurial leaders are focused on developing others around them and create a sense of urgency within the organization and the mission So then, of those two, who is a good leader? Well, to me, leadership is situational. There may be no one size fits it all leadership style. It is situational. What do I mean? Let me take myself at the university. Here I am, a full professor. 
have worked for the last 30 plus years at the university. And there is a new lecturer, I even call it an assistant lecturer, coming in. My vice chancellor may apply a certain leadership style to the young ones to direct them, you know, to show them the way, guide them, do this, do A, B, C, D. But for me, who has been around for more than 30 years, may say, please, Prof, our mission is A, B, C, D. Let's achieve it. He's not coming to police me. Same vice chancellor, same university, but the different categories of the lead different styles. Even in the hospitals, let's say if it is the outpatient ward, for example, the doctors may tell the nurses to take their time, help that. But if it's such an emergency, the doctor will dictate Tell the nurse, bring this, bring this, and all that. So, this or this, my answer is that leadership is situational. And a leader who uses one and the same style all the time, on, the same, on all people, may not be the best leader. Leadership is situation. That is my persuasion. I am persuaded that there is no one size fits all leadership style. There may be a dominant style, but try to see when to use which. Well, if we enjoyed it, like it, Share it, subscribe, and if you really want to help us or to support us to bring you more, to share more of the similar information, you may donate, and to donate, you may visit that website, the donation direction are given or you may simply use the M-Pesa route buy goods till number 5476465 thank you very much and have your situational leadership style won't you